Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be showing on how to transplant carrots. Transplant carrots? Yes, you can transplant carrots. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So welcome back to another exciting video where I'm going to be showing you how I transplant my winter sown carrots. I just did a reveal and I put, I'll put the link up above uh, to the reveal of carrots and some other things in my winter sown jugs. Now it's time to get them actually transplanted into their forever homes. So come along with me and I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, so these are uh, my purple dragon winter sown carrots, and it's time to get them transplanted into their own container. I do a lot of container gardening, um, especially for smaller crops. Um, it's easier on my back, and my ground is not the best for root crops like dragons, beets, and things like that. So, uh, having them in a container with looser soil is a bonus for the root crops. So I'm going to go ahead and get the soil prepared and then we'll get to planting our carrots. Alright, so I top dressed this uh, container with some more soil because it was quite low but leaving plenty of room where I can add some mulch later on to help keep the moisture level in here uh, really good without it drying out. So next I'm going to add some fertilizer. This is Trifecta Plus from MI Gardener. I've used this for quite a few years and I'm very happy with it. It's an organic fertilizer. And one of the things about organic fertilizer is if you add a little too much, it's fine because it's a slow release fertilizer. And so it's not gonna harm your plants um, like some other fertilizers, um, especially synthetics that burn your plants. So I just mix that into the top there and then we're going to go ahead and transplant our carrots. So the carrots have already been watered um, ahead of time. That's one of the things that you want to do when you're transplanting anything is make sure that what you're transplanting has been soaked thoroughly with moisture. When it comes to winter sowing it really helps get the soil out of here and for the soil to break up nicely without stressing the plants too much. So I've already watered them, so we're going to go ahead and take them out of here, like so. You can see those beautiful roots, all right? And what I do with carrots is what's called clump planting, where I'm simply going to break this up into smaller clumps and plant them. Um, if you plant uh, these in smaller clumps, they will grow and push away from each other, so it works pretty well. The only downside to doing uh, carrots this way, winter sown, is you won't get straight carrots. Because we're messing with the roots and transplanting them, um, your carrots aren't going to be straight. But they're still going to be delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and break this apart and start planting. So you see how easily that came apart? And I'm just going to break it into a chunk about that size. Put that in there. About a hand apart, we're going to do another one. About that size there. Okay.
And that's how easy it is to transplant carrots or other root crops like carrots. It's just to plant them in small clumps and as they grow, they'll push away from each other. Now I'm gonna put some mulch around this. Just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and water this a little bit later I don't want to do it now because it's already been um, watered down but I'll water it again a little later after the Sun's been out on these guys beating on them right now I have these guys in partial shade to help prevent um, the transplant shock from the Sun beating down upon them right away um, but these will go in full Sun eventually after they're done being transplanted as you can see, I still have quite a few more. I will do another pot with these the same exact way. Okay, so I hope you see how easy it is to transplant carrots and other root vegetables using the clump method. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I thank you so much for being a part of my journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and blog content from the homestead where we talk about gardening, health, and chickens, and all sorts of other things. And as always, I want to make sure that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.